an old school in Baltimore could soon be a place for teachers once again. Now, it wouldn't have desks or chalkboards or even students this time. WMER 2 News' Elizabeth Worthington shows us why. The graffiti, broken windows, and weeds. Evidence that a teacher hasn't stepped foot inside this school in more than a decade. That could soon change, but if teachers return here, it wouldn't be to work. They'll get the building, there'll be 30-ish um, apartments. Councilwoman Odette Ramos is one of the Baltimore City Council members behind a proposal to turn the former Waverly Middle School into affordable housing just for teachers and their families. This is a way to say, you know, if, if housing is an issue for you, let's make sure that that is not an issue anymore um, so that you can concentrate on being in the classroom and working with our kids. The lot next to the school houses a building that was formerly used for extra classrooms. That would be torn down to make room for a community green space and parking. Lots of people are really excited about it, not just teachers. That includes Laura Menyuk, who lives in the neighborhood. She's happiest for the kids who go to school right across the street and have to see a boarded up building every day. I think it has the potential to show kids that there's a lack of respect for their neighborhood and I'm really glad that we're going to be able to show them something new and different. So we have hardly any vacants and so this has really been an eyesore. There's been a couple fires in here. There were some squatters in here. Restoring this building is going to take more than just dusting off the cobwebs. So what about the price tag? I don't know what the sale price is going to be and I don't know what the budget is, but this is a sick building. So it, it's going to be a lot of lead, asbestos, all of that to gut out in order to um, to make this work. So it is not a uh, cheap proposition. As for the timeline, there are still several steps to get this approved before construction can begin. Ramos predicts the project could be completed in two years. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.